What's good, producers? It's Curtis King of CurtisKingBeast.com here with another producer motivation 911. Producers, stop trying to be everything to everybody. Know what your strengths are and improve upon your strengths and only improve the weaknesses that hinder your strengths. If you are a hip hop producer, although you may love trap, if your strength is hip hop and if your customers are buying and purchasing your hip hop beats, don't stray too far away from what you do. Let me give you a situation in which I have strayed and how I figured out how to get myself back on course. You ever hear anybody ever say that you need to know your demographic? I've heard that since I started getting marketing lessons back in 2006, I've heard this. You need to know your demographic, know your demographic. Demographics get you very close to who am I actually supplying? Who's actually listening to my music and who's actually listening to my beats and who are my customers? So let me give you the situation. I've been leasing beats probably now for the last three years. And not once did it cross my mind, you know, what is my demographic? To me, I thought, you know, I'm a hip hop producer. But as I started to transition as an artist and I started to become a bigger fan of trap music, I started actually going and doing EDM trap beats. I started transitioning there. And as I'm doing this, I'm still seeing sales, but what I'm not seeing are return customers. And I thought it was just kind of the nature of leasing. Maybe it was just artists who came through, they fell in love with a beat and not really the catalog. and now that was that. About two weeks ago, I sent out an email and the subject of the email was 70% off if you take this survey. What was the survey about? The survey was basically a list to determine what my demographic was. I asked specific questions. I asked their age. I asked their uh, race. I asked male or female. I asked what region they were from. I asked their level of education. I even asked specifically, what are your favorite types of beats to purchase? What are your favorite genres? Who's your favorite artist right now? What's your favorite album right now? I actually use this thing called Survey Monkey. That's an extension of MailChimp and pff, Bro, it helped me out so much. I made this survey, I sent it to him, and within two hours, I got about 50 responses. And the results, they broke my heart. Oh my God. For the last year and a half at least, I've been sending out trap beat after trap beat, EDM trap beat, R&B trap beat, bluegrass trap beat. And guess what my audience told me? Only 7% of them actually are trap beat fans. Would you imagine that? Almost 70% of them wanted hip hop beats and almost 60% of them wanted sample beats. I know those percentages may sound off, but I allowed them to choose multiple options. And it blew my mind. Here I was thinking that I was making the hottest beats to supply to my audience, and they didn't even want those. They wanted the thing that was my bread and butter. They're not saying that those beats are not dope. That's just not what they want from me. But then I started to understand the reasons, producers, that artists come back to you is because you are supplying something that they are passionate about. If somebody is passionate about hip hop and they know that you supply them something that makes them sound amazing, you are so valuable to them. And they will continue to come back to you because you are their one-stop resource for getting that particular thing. But Curtis, don't I wanna have something for everybody? No, you do not wanna have something for everybody. Why not? People nowadays love trap beats and love hip hop beats and love R&B. Play to your strengths. You may love trap, you may be pretty good at trap, but you can only be great at a very small percentage of things. That being said, I'm not saying that you can't make trap beats and hip hop beats. I'm not saying you can't make R&B. I'm saying that the majority and the weight of your focus should be on what you are great at. How can you go from great to outstanding? How can you go from outstanding to genius? How can you go from genius to legendary? That should be the focus, producers. Once you zero in on it, your job will be so much easier and you're going to be making more money, man. You'll be able to really support yourself strictly off of production. Hope this helps you. This has been another Producer Motivation 911. Curtis King of CurtisKingBeats.com What's good, artists? It's Curtis King, and I basically wanted to take this in portion to bring to your attention a new service that I'm providing. I just launched this week one-on-one -on -one artists and producer marketing and consultation. So basically, I'll sit with you one-on-one -on -one and answer all of your questions. Any questions that you have for me as an artist or producer, I can basically sit with you and we can formulate a plan together. I want to see you reach all of your goals, and I want to make sure that I offer you as much of my 12-year-plus experience as I can to help you down your road. If you have any questions, questions visit curtisking.com not curtisking beats visit curtisking.com and book a session now
Nobody understands an artist like an artist, and nobody understands a producer like a producer.